I am making this video because I have a passion for the outdoors and adventure, but also to help people who are in need of some guidance. I want to show them that there is hope for a better life and it starts with a scoli. I have been living in my scoli for about two years now. It has been an amazing experience so far and I am excited to share my story with you. Two years ago I was a struggling student who had no idea where my life would take me. My goal was to graduate from college and move out of my parents' house, but I didn't know where I would live once I made that move. The idea of living in a van sounded crazy, but van life caught my eye at one point and when it came time to decide on buying a vehicle for myself, the decision was easy. I decided to buy an old van that I found on CL and have slowly been fixing up in my spare time. The main goal was to live cheaply, but comfortably enough to travel without feeling too much like a vagrant. That being said, I'm not sure if I've achieved the latter, but we'll see how things go. What are some of your biggest challenges? My biggest challenge has been getting the vehicle ready for use. It's really different to car ownership and it took me a while to get used to it. I'm really happy with my vehicle. There's always something new and exciting that I learn about how the car works. I'll tell you a little bit about my car, it has a lot of bells and whistles, but it's not too complicated to figure out how everything works. Dot it's a standard transmission, but with paddle shifters on the steering wheel. It has digital displays that tell me everything I need to know about my car, like my RPM and speed. The handle slash door release is on the left side of the car, which is, I suppose, where it would be on an American sedan. Semicolon the keyhole is also on the left, which is also, I suppose, where it would be on an American sedan. The handle slash door release is on the right side of the car, which is, I suppose, where it would be on a European sedan. The keyhole is also on the right, but this time around it's to the left of where you'd expect to find it. Dot the car's white body is actually made of a white body slash black roof combination. It would ordinarily be a front-wheel drive sedan, 